Okay, we're talking about counter rotation. Now the trick here is to not let the hips move, but really try to encourage movement in the spine itself. Now we want to get the spine in a lengthened state because if it's in a compressed state, we're gonna have more movement, but we actually wanna challenge these multifidus muscles in a lengthened position and then add that rotation. So we can even see that stress, that lengthening that we have, and then really fighting to keep that as we move through the rotation. One way to know that you're doing this right is you'll feel off balance, you'll feel unsteady. You can feel that I'm shaking and struggling there to hold that decompression and then challenge my body with rotation. So obviously first you need to understand decompression and learn to do that correctly so you can actually find that wall of tension and really test your balance. So this stuff shouldn't be easy, it should be really tough, be really hard. Here's some more classical type stuff that I used to do. Getting on one there and then really trying to lock the hips down. And this kind of locks them in naturally, this position here. And then opening up the arm is going to challenge that spine. And definitely pay attention guys to which side feels more unsteady or more restricted. That's the side you want to hit. For me it's this left side. I feel it in the shoulder opposite hip, and the hips and shoulders, the ball socket joints definitely work together. You know, if we have one tough shoulder, that other hip is going to try to make up for the lack of motion and we end up getting twisted and our spine ends up get, getting twisted and that's all stress on the joints we want to avoid. Bringing the knee off the ground is tough. You can leave the knee down on a pad if you want. I like squeezing the ground because it helps add a decompression. All of foundation training style stuff is kind of grabbing the floor in that split stance trying to pull it towards you. So pulling that knee out the ground helps aid in decompression and then we're doing this kind of oblique twist here. I'm pulling up overhead, challenge those spinal muscles, especially in the thoracic area where all the ribs are. There's just not a lot of rotation stimulate those mechanoreceptors to help wake them up essentially <laughs> they're just atrophied and turned off and that way our shoulders try to hold up our body and our hips and our spines aren't being stimulated to support our body as they should be Remember, lock the hips in place don't let the hips travel because then the motion's happening either low in your spine or at the pelvic and sacroiliac joints themselves, we want that pelvic to stable. And lifting that knee up there helps lock everything down. So you can try that if you want to. A lot of these can be done with bands. A lot of these are moves that I've learned at Ridge Line Fitness, just doing them with um, their band style stuff. Sometimes we're more concerned about stretching the band. You can actually find that you can get a lot of tension just being intent about what you're doing. Locking your hips in place, trying to encourage that motion to happen only at the spine. And the way to do that is keep the tension in the hamstrings and the back. Not letting that spine warp too much as you're running through all these motions. Keeping everything rock steady, the feet grip in the ground, whole body active stretch style stuff. That's what we call the windmill. You can leave the head down, but I like to have the spine color follow with the head, follow the arm up there. All right, the flat foot squat. Oh, we all need a little bit more of these. Raising the arms, I always noticed in the past, kind of push my hips back more. But you'll notice that it'll challenge one side of the spine and then the other. And that's a little bit of rotation. It's just something to do while you're down there in the flat foot squat. This can be a little bit more pressure on the knees than some people would like. So I'm going to show another version here. Um, just a little more hinged at the hips. The spine is actually a little straighter there. If I fight to get a little more curve in the back than I have.